Hello everyone, it's Simone. I have a new pen as a loner from my friend Sarah. Um, we chatted on Instagram and she suggested that she would send me two of her pens and I would send her two of my pens. And this is one of them. It is the Estabrook Esti in the honeycomb design with gold hardware and a broad nib. And this is the pen that I have been eyeing for a while. Not necessarily the nib size, but the design. And I, the first thing that I thought when I saw this pen was, oh, it's bigger than I thought. So I'm going to show it to you and then I'll do some size comparisons and then we'll ink it up. It has gold hardware. It feels very um, sturdy. The screw mechanism here is um, metal. The nib is gold. It is an interchangeable feed. You can screw it out just like that very easily and screw it back in. Um, there is, she included a converter. So this is a cartridge converter pen. And I don't know if you just heard that, but this feels, yeah, there is also metal. I don't really know in German it's Gewinde, but uh, it's not plastic. And that makes this feel very, um, well made. When you put the cap back on it, I don't know if you can see this here, there is a cap in cap mechanism like with platinum pens. So if you just would screw this like that, it doesn't grip. So it's not closing. You have to push a bit so that it, the cap inside um, moves and then your, your cap screws on. Um, uh, there is here, there is Estabrook etched into the, I would say it's acrylic. I haven't looked up exactly the material, but it feels very, I don't know what it, what the e exact difference is, but it feels like it's m more worthy, more expensive than this in a sense. So yeah, as you can clearly see, this pen is pretty big. This is a Twisby Eco. Um, I have a Lamy Safari as a comparison because I feel like these are pens that most people know or have either a Twisby or a Lamy in their um, possession. This is a Lamy Ales All-Star. I it, they are the same length and size as Lamy Safaris. So it stands out here. I have a Kaweco as a size comparison as well. Like so. So yeah, uh, the pen feels, maybe I should get a scale so that we can weigh it in a second. I will do that. But let me add more pens to this. I thought I'd bring out the um, Pilot Custom 74 because that's basically my favorite pen of all times, all the time. And so I just wanted to see how it compares in, in sizing to this pen. And maybe many of you have this pen as well. And then I'm going to bring out my biggest pen in my collection, which is the Bennu Euphoria. I'm just going to add that right here. So what I find very interesting about the Euphoria is that it looks very big, but when you compare it in length, it isn't, these pens are the same length. They just, um, this one is, looks just more girthy because it comes out uh, much wider at the belly. So I'm going to grab a scale. All right. So I'm just going to put this on here. There is a converter in this pen and it is 26 grams. This pen is already inked. 
so it's not 100% the same. This is 23. And let's do the custom 74 without a converter or a ink included. It weighs 20, 18 grams. So again, 26. The Bennu, 28. So I personally do not post my Bennu pen. It, it looks really weird. It makes it very back heavy. And without the cap, it is 16. The um, SD, I haven't even checked if you can post this. You can, I think. I probably wouldn't. It feels weird, but this pen is still long enough to be uh, carried around without a cap. So I am going to weigh it uncapped and it is 16 grams. I would feel, I, I think that 10 grams for the cap. Let's see what this is in comparison. Eight. Hmm. Okay. Um, this pen has a number six Yowo nib, which makes the pen in general very interesting to me. I have found that I like these larger nibs. Um, in comparison on a Twisby Eco, I have found various different information. It says that this is a Yovo number no. four nib. So the Twisby 580 has the nib size that is in between the four and the six. And the another nib that would be similar sized as the uh, Twisby Eco is the, or maybe that's a five then in comparison. This is a number five nib for Pilot, but Pilot, um, numbers their nibs differently. It definitely is, as you can see, smaller than the SD nib. Um, Size-wise, the other nib that compares to this is the Benu. It has a number six size Schmidt nib. That's why this pen is interesting to me. And so maybe if that's something that you noticed as well, then this might be a pen that would work for you. So I am going to compare the unposted pens. Now, please don't. <laughs> and I'm going to align, align the tips of the nibs. This pen for me does not work without it being posted because it feels like it's slipping in here. And this also shows you if you can hold your uh, Kaweco Sport pen without posting it, then you know that your hands are definitely smaller than mine. Let me take off the Lamy cap. Because the nib is so big, as you can clearly see, the pen is longer. There is like a centimeter of pen already lost uh, because of the smaller nib size. So what I am, as as you can see, so it is similar in size to the Lamy Safari or um, All Star. It is a tiny bit shorter than the Tusby Eco. It is longer than the Kaweco Sport. But I want to see how the size difference is for the Benu. So this is probably a centimeter longer. This is what the Bennu looks in my hand like in my hand. Definitely a better size than this, but this works. It's not uh, uncomfortable for me. It, 
let's check the posting again because last time I yeah postable I I I'm hesitant to post it because this is not my pen I don't want to scratch the uh, body of the pen or anything or get any grooves on there and it works fine without being posted I usually tend not to post my pens so it isn't really a deal breaker if a pen is postable or not besides the Kawiko Sport oh I want to compare the sections here really quickly the let me see if I can bring this closer and if I can show you better the section of the SD is bigger, girthier. Let me just grab my, whatever this blue thing here is called, caliper. In German, we say Schiebelehre. So, or Schiebelehre. Turn it on. Putting it to zero. I'm going to measure it at the top right here. Which is, well, well, okay. 10, 11, 10 millimeters. And then this one is 11, 26 milli millimeters. So it's one millimeter wider. And I can see that and I can feel that. I prefer pens that are more like this. So I had been stumped by these um, Estherbrooks, why they're so expensive. And yeah, I do think that the, the make and the, the feel of the, um, I'm just gonna say acrylic body, uh, I'm not sure if it justifies the this price, but it definitely feels more sturdy and more valuable than, for instance, a Twisby Eco. Um, I want to ink up this pen, and I have chosen Diamine Brandy Snap for this. And I am going to put this out here. What else do I need? My notebook. I have a rag. I think I'm all set. So Brandy Snap is here. I want to ink it up. Oh, haha, we will see if that actually works. If I can, if it, yeah, the section is big enough, small enough to fit through the small hole of the bottle. It's already screwed all the way down, so I can try and suck in the ink. Um, the benefit for me is that if I ink it up through the nib and feed, then it's already primed. It should be writing right away compared to when I maybe just fill the converter or syringe fill the converter, which I used to do and I still like doing that. Um, haha, so I don't know if you can see this, it's almost submerged. Let's see if it has enough suction to actually suck ink through the, in the breather hole. Yes, it does. Um, I am not going to fill up this converter all the way because this month when I'm trying this pen, I have multiple pens inked up uh, more than last month. And I just want to make sure that I use all of the ink up and by not filling the pen all the way I make sure that that happens. So I'm really curious this is a broad nib. I am actually using three broad nibs this month so I can actually show you a writing sample. It, they're obviously well two of them are inked with the same ink but this one is a different one so it's doesn't represent or you can't really compare all the broad nibs but it's definitely it's a it's a thing you we will be able to see that so this is what is this actually this is an Estherbrook SD 
in the honeycomb. And I have been looking at their website multiple times. It definitely writes really well, very smooth. And this is the, the, the colorway that I would be most drawn to of all of the ones that are on their site. If you have one or if you have looked at their pens, let me know what is your favorite color. Is it a colorway? What What is your favorite SD when you look at the site? You don't have to have it. You don't have to own it. But if you were to own one of them, which one would you choose? Honeycomb and then downstrokes, side strokes, upstrokes, this way and this way. And actually, this nib is really writes really smoothly uh, in all different directions. It's quite wet. Um, let's do some of these figure eights. This is what it looks like when you write a lot. Okay, let's sign a letter with this. Also works well. A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Mm -hmm. I like this. I also like the ink color. Um, you can see clearly that a coloring card does not translate in the same way onto a fun pen and a Tomoe River paper. So I'm going to just do this and this and this with this pen. This is the SD. And then I'm going to pull out my other two broads so you can see and see a comparison. Um, the nibs that are on the Esterbrook pens are Yovo nibs. Uh, so this is also a Yovo nib, different size though. Um, and they're all factory made. So they do have I haven't heard that they would have um would be tuned in house or anything like that. This is the Twisby. And then I have the Schmidt, which is also a big number six size nib. I'm going to leave some space because with those broad nibs. And then I'm gonna bring it closer to you so you can look at it. I would say, so the ink that is in here is a Pilot Iroshizuku ink, which is known to be wet, wetter. I don't know much about uh, the Diamine Brandy Snap. Most of the Diamine inks that I own uh, are rather lubricated and wet. Um, compared to other inks that I have. So maybe not all of them, but most of them that I have used. Um, but it definitely looks like the line width of this pen, the SD, is a tiny bit narrow, narrower than the line width on the other two. two. If I was going to really investigate, I would have to ink this pen up with the same ink to really be able to compare but so far what i'm seeing is something that i really like um i'd really would know uh if you have an Astrobrook sd and how you like it i am extremely curious in the journal journaler nib um and how if you have that and you have a sig nib from Franklin Christoph. I would love to chat with you in the comments because I would love to know how they compare in the writing experience. Um, I might just get an SD and then have Gina Solorino put it on for me or I don't know. We will see. Um, 
I'm not going to buy any pens anytime soon and I will send this back at the end of the month. And so uh, until that time, I will definitely tr use this as much as possible just to see how I like it in long-term writing sessions. So I think I'm done. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so. I'm sharing all things ink, fountain pen and journaling mostly twice a week and yeah see you soon bye